Another issue we're, we're always concerned about is keeping our own homes and our families safe. Um, and a few residents have um, unfortunately let me know about um, some break-ins and attempted break-ins on their properties in Winterstoke area. Um, Howard, I wonder if you had any advice for us uh, around what, what we should do if we're concerned or if something happens? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the first thing to say is that if you feel that you have been a victim of burglary, you should report it. Um, um, not least because um, there's a crime that's happened and the police will want to know about it, but also it allows us to build up a picture of where this is happening so that we can deploy officers' resources to those locations. Um, in terms of what you can do yourself, we've kind of done for the last few years a top 10 tips for making your home safer um, and making yourself less likely to be a victim of burglary. And those include locking your doors and windows every time you leave your house, even when you're just out in the garden or you just pop to the shops. We have a lot of burglary reports that come in that someone has literally fleetingly left their house, come back a few minutes later and found things have been taken. So it is really important to make sure you lock your doors and windows, even if you're just popping out, and make sure you've got good locks on them as well. Um, and information on what looks we, locks we consider as secure and good can be found on the police.uk website. Um, another typical um, modus operandi for burglaries is the fact that burglars will reach through potentially and get your keys so make sure that you get keys out of sight um, there's all sorts of different tools that burglars have used in the past to be able to hook keys from from um, where you're keeping them on a table or on hooks just inside your door so please keep all keys hidden out of sight um, in, make sure you if you want to, you mark property, especially the most valuable property in your house, um, and details on that can be found on immobilize.com. And basically that's you registering your most valuable items and it will help you potentially getting those back if you are a victim of burglary in the future. Other, other ways to protect yourself include hiding all tools in your garden um, and around your house, so you are not basically giving a burglar a freebie in terms of look, here's a, here's a hammer, here's a ladder, here is a spade, please use it to get into my property. So make sure when you pop out, when you go out, when you go on holiday, that all tools are well and truly locked away, either inside a shed or inside your house. Um, outdoor lighting is another one of our top tips to make sure you get some really good outdoor lighting, preferably one that's triggered by movement, but not necessarily whatever you can afford, whatever you find, um, but just illuminating your house so that um, a bird is put off from being able to kind of be hidden in a way from getting around the peripheral or, and also to allow people from outside the house to be able to see if someone's sniffing around your property and trying to get in. Um, so outdoor lighting is number, another one of our top tips. Um, when I've worked in London and in North Somerset before, I've always really strongly recommended using time switches on radios, on lights, and the idea behind that is because one of the busiest times for burglaries is that period between, say, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 7 o'clock in the evening when burglars believe that there's a good chance you might be out, still at work, etc. So by putting a time switch on a light to automatically come on, um, you're giving the impression to anyone who's looking that there is people in, inside and um, they'll just move on and try somewhere else. So time switches are a great tip. And then just finally, just make sure that all your fences, all your gates around your property are in really good repair. So um, it, it's just a basic, it's a basic checking process to make sure that the, the boundaries on your property are as secure as they possibly can be. Um, you can also put certain vegetation into your, into your hedges to make sure it's kind of less likely to be climbed, but that's not always practical. So just making sure that you have a really secure boundary to your property, I think it's a top tip. Um, Lee, did you want Yeah, no, completely. And, um, and I think as well, if you look at this, so even Somerset Police have got a crime prevention website. Yeah. We've also got um, old school sort of paper materials and stuff like that. One of them actually is called uh, Buzz Off Burglar. Uh, but it's all about actually that natural protections about yeah. plant. How you can, if you've got gardens and stuff and you want to be making them look... Uh, look all nice. You can do it in a way that actually is quite defensive. Planting yeah. as well that actually works. Uh, it was a guy who recently retired. He did it, but he is um, uh, he was absolutely obsessed with nature that uh, and and, gar and garden design yeah. as a police officer and put together that that piece there. Um, I suppose the thing I would say as well is yeah, it's it's, it's rare to be yeah. a victim, yeah. and, and and thankfully 
you know, in the in, in Avon and Somerset as well, it is very rare to become a, a victim. But if, if that does happen, you know, we will attend. I know there's been some sort of speculation about whether or not we attend burglaries or not. Yeah. And there's all this talk in the press about there not being police officers around or so. Actually, you know, we attend every burglary. Yeah. And we all do. And sometimes it's not within the time scale we would like to be able to do that, you know, not within like an immediate sort of race into it if, if the offender's not there. But we attend every burglary and we will look to investigate every burglary. So it's really important if somebody suffers um, a break in that points of entry, that anywhere that you think that person has scuffled around and had a look for yeah. stuff out of that, that they are kept as they were when you found yeah. them. Because we will want, if there's any chance of us being able to go there and get evidence of who has, who has uh, committed this, we will want to try and preserve that and make the most of anything that we can find. If it's wet outside and you're seeing you know, um, footprints in the, in, in the mud and stuff, doing whatever we can to preserve that yeah. so that we can try and get the evidence we need. To, so if somebody comes through custody, we will, you know, we will take their footprints. And it is, there is quite often that we can match yeah. um, those sorts of things. The other stuff is for your, for your belongings in there as well. Anything that you've got, especially if, you know, uh, at the time of filming this, Christmas is coming up, I don't yeah. know. But you know, there'll be Christmases and birthdays for everyone throughout, you know, throughout the year. And as you get stuff, to make it a habit to register on something like a mobilise, yeah. uh, which is quite a simple thing to do, but it means that um, ultimately, you know, we're obsessed as well at times we're trying to catch burglars and catch people committing crime. If we get hold of somebody, uh, we have powers under the Police and Criminal Evidence Act to search their premise, to search them, search vehicles that may be linked to them. Um, and there's different powers we can do depending on how we found them. But in doing that, we might find products, we might find laptops, we might find iPads, all sorts of stuff. And if their stuff's registered on something like a mobilise, we can check that, we can check those uh, details through. And where we may have only had this person for the one, or one burglary or suspect for one offence there, if we yeah. find these things and check them through, we can link them to a number of others. Mm -hmm. So it's not all about, I know with insurance and stuff, some people have, are less worried about having their property recovered at times. Yeah. But it's certainly good for, so like, uh, it's more for things like photos we find people want stuff back. But if, you don't, if you're not motivated by that, be motivated by the fact that if you register all your stuff online, there is a really good chance that if they try and run it through a pawnbroker's, if they try and run it through something like that, that or if um, they're keeping it in their property, yeah. and we end up arresting <coughs> somebody else, we can get them for mm -hmm. this as well. Mm -hmm. And that can be the difference between somebody getting a community order, being let back out, and if yeah. we get an, you know, another being locked away for quite a while. And what we're focused with, rightly or wrongly, is try and make sure that burglars are taken off the streets mm -hmm. and stay off. Yeah. And it's, it's a really good example as well, Lee, of how it's about keeping our homes and our families safe, but also our neighbourhoods. And then each one of us, we, most of us, we, we want to play our part as well, don't we? We, mm -hmm. we want yeah. to yeah. know what we can do to help improve the yeah. situation. So really yeah. important that yeah. um, we do our best to, to keep things safe take or implement some of those top tips, um, including using plants to fight crime, <laughs> if we can, in our gardens, uh, but, but very much always reporting things through, trying to leave the situation as we found mm -hmm. it, um, and trying to use the, those mechanisms to, to log the details. Can we look to just a second on Neighbourhood Watch? Because mm, that would be worth I was going to ask you that, yeah, Neighbourhood Watch. Um, it, gets, it gets a bad rap at times. But I, I've worked quite for some time on Neighbourhood Watch, and I've, and I've worked um, as the Avon and Somerset Association yeah. has formed as well. And it's a really simple concept that done well can work. Um, and it needs to be done for the right reasons, I think. But where you have a number of residents who just care about their local community and just want to help try and keep it a bit yeah. safer, um, and you have that link to the police, and you have that, but more importantly, that link to each other, where, um, you know, say you're in Hayward Village, you've got, you, you've maybe a newer development or whatever it may be, or, or West Village, or wherever you are, and you've got these, we have got all your neighbours around you. The concept of neighbourhood watch is just, you know, that we are looking out for each other. Yeah. And we're actually going to make that effort to make sure that around us is safe. And that can have some real benefits, uh, like I say, if it's done properly. If you just stick your sticker in the window and hope that crime's going to go away, it's not going to mm. happen. Yeah. It's that interaction between people, an interaction between us, and I yeah. want my team to be more as supportive as we can be to people who want to do neighbourhood watch. Because if we have got um, vehicles flying around, 
that we want people to be looking out for, if we've got uh, a particular type of, of, of MO, of, of way of committing a burglary that we need people to know about. The neighbourhood watch is that vehicle where we can tell these people to say, look, we've got somebody who's checking doors. Yeah. You know, uh, we've got somebody who is um, going around the back into people's gardens and smashing through back doors. Well, actually then, if that's being put out to neighbourhood watches and they're putting out to their residents, mm -hmm. people, as much as you will hopefully look out for, but people yeah. are specifically looking for the things that could trigger us capturing a, a criminal or stopping them from doing it in the first place. Mm. And so it can be really important. It's a really good thing, but it needs to be done correctly. Now, I'm trying to increase the link with our neighbourhood watches. I invited all of our coordinators in. We don't have many in the central or in the town centre. I'd like to see that change. But I'd like to see that change based on the fact that people want to do something about crime mm. in their area and they want that closer link to us. Mm. If they're interested, all they've got to do is get in contact with my team and we will help you through all the processes to setting that neighbourhood watch up. Great.